Hi, George here. And today I want to be showing you how to let Photoshop Elements replace a background for you. It's actually very easy, and this is up on the guided edits. Let's see how this works. I'm just going to delete all of this stuff. Hit the delete key and back to our original image right here. Now, if you're a member of my channel, there are a few perks that come with that. One of those is the HDG Photo Coach program, which is a great tool for working along with Photoshop Elements. Other ones are that you get a download link for the image in here. You get the full Photoshop Elements project file once we finish this project. And I also have a step-by-step -step guide for this project included in there as well. So all this stuff comes with a membership. I'll tell you more about that at the end if you don't already have that. Okay, we're going to let Elements do this for us. It's really very easy. Go up to the guided edit mode. I'm in the special edits section and come down here to replace background. The main reason I wanted to show this now is because new things have been added in here. If you scroll down here, we have a couple of new options. We now have the option to find a background from Adobe Stock and there are a lot more presets in here. So I'll take a look at that when we get down to that point. We'll first start off by just doing a select subject and let Elements come in here and find our subject for us. There we go, did a nice clean job on that. You can use that or if you want to, you can do it yourself right down here using either auto or a quick selection or a brush. All those will work out okay. Now that we have our selection, we can change our background, import a photo. This just brings up a standard window in here where you can navigate on your computer or network and find a picture. Or you can just have a transparent background right here or choose a color from the color picker or again, that Adobe Stock photo. If we scroll down here, we'll be using the presets. Last year, what you had in here were just these first four rows, 12 images right there. A lot more has been added in here in 2024. As you can see, just a whole bunch more of these different options for your backgrounds. And the nice thing about these backgrounds is you click on it, it gives you that background, but you can quickly change this to different backgrounds just by clicking on that image and see which one you like the best. A lot of these work out well with this picture. I'll use one that I used in the example, which is right here. There we go. Now down below your presets, you can use the move tool to move either the subject or the background. If you're on the subject, you can then move the subject like that. From the background, you can move the background. So it's pretty easy to do. I'll just put those over about there. That's good. If you want to refine or soften your edges, you can do that right here with the refined edge brush tool. You can also do a color match right here. Now in this picture, this doesn't work out very well, but I'll show that to you. Click on auto color match. And it tries to take colors from the background and bring them into the foreground. And as you can see, it just dulled everything down. That's no good. So I'll use the Control Z keyboard shortcut to back out of that. We'll ignore that one. Let's now go over to the advanced mode, click on next. I'm gonna choose in advanced. Now this is a name change that happened in 2024. If you're in an earlier version, 2023 or earlier, it's gonna say in expert mode. Same exact thing. I don't know why they changed that. Here we go. So we now have a new layer on top. If I hide that, is a simple mask in here, which masks out the background, which means I can put anything I want to behind this person at this point because the background is masked. It also means that I can adjust that edge if I need to. Again, just standard layer mask stuff. Let's bring our background back in again. If you want to add a different background in, what you should do is come down here to the one that says background in italics, right click on that, duplicate that layer, choose okay, hide this one. This is gonna be our safety layer, just in case. Let's now change our background with the built-in backgrounds. Come down to graphics, and I'm in by type over here and backgrounds right here. We also have Adobe Stock available there, of course. Again, that's also in 2024 that came in. But I can now choose any background in here that I want to, and there are lots of these available. Just find something kind of fun. I'll scroll down just a little ways. Let's try this interesting branch picture in here, a tree silhouette. Let's go back to our layers. I need to hide this background and there's that tree silhouette right down here. If I want to have some choices in here, what I'll do is I'll make a duplicate of this layer, right click where it says background, choose duplicate layer, choose okay, hide that one. Let's now go back to graphics again. Here's some autumn leaves. There we go, that's not too bad. Let's find something with some blues in it. It's been kind of interesting. It's kind of a snowy effect, this one might work out all right. Kind of a bouquet lights thing, not too bad. Okay, let's go back here to layers. I'm gonna bring back in the one that we did inside the guided edit right here. Now she is just a little bit soft focus on the edges, especially right down here, but the background's sharp focus and that doesn't look that great. So let's fix that. I'm going to right click on this layer here and let's duplicate the layer, choose okay. I'll hide this one and we'll go ahead and blur this layer out a little bit. Go up to filter, come down to blur and Gaussian blur. And I can pull this over here and just add some blur back there. And that looks much better. Just having a bit of a blur happen on that one. And she's a little bit washed out. We can fix that as well. Let's go up here to her layer and we'll add an adjustment layer onto this. Go to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and levels. 
Check that checkbox right here for use previous layer. Choose OK. And here I'm going to bring up the darks a bit, just richen the darks up. That helps a lot. Bring the lights up a little bit. That helps as well. Just make her a bit more contrasty. Then I'll balance the midtones right in here. And I think that's looking pretty good right there. And the last little tweak I want to do is that her hair here looks just a little bit out of focus, maybe a bit too much out of focus. We can sharpen that just a little bit. That's on this layer here. Don't go too much on this or it looks weird. Use a sharpen tool, which is right down there. And I have my strength at 51%. I'll just type it in at 50 so it's exactly even. Size, whatever is good for your picture. And that's a pretty good size right there. You can see that. And then just brush over this. It's going to increase the contrast on the edges of the pixels. And that makes things look a little bit sharper. And I'll do just a little bit so it doesn't look quite as fuzzy in there. Maybe the same thing along the edges here, the lines of things. And that helps to bring that further forward in there. I just wanted to separate that out from the background. And that's better. And that looks real nice. You can see how easy and fast this was to do using that guy that did it. It did a lot of the work for us. Of course, we brought it over here and added some more tweaks to that. But it's a real fast, real easy tool to use. And it's a great way to just put in some of those random backgrounds, especially if you blur them out a little bit over here in advanced or expert mode. If you want all the project files for this video, that includes a download link for this photograph the PSD file over here right hand side, and the step-by-step -step instructions for this project, along with access to the HTG Photo Coach. You can get all of that right down here. I'll put a link for this in the description. Don't forget to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications of my new videos. I'm doing new videos all the time, but you don't want to miss out on any of those things. And I'll see you next time.